How's everybody doing? God bless. A lot of people were asking me to make make a video about the uh, what I talked about in my live stream yesterday. It was a great live stream. I hope everybody's doing well. Here's my Bible verse, and I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, the Russian trip, the uh, Russian ships uh, off the coast of Alaska. And I will talk about it in a minute. This was given to me by John. Thank you, John. Behold, the people come from the north. A great nation and many kings shall rise up from the coast from the coast of the earth. This is when Babylon is destroyed. It says there's nations come up from the north. Pangs upon woman in travail. Talked about this many of times. Jeremiah 50. Here's other verses about it. Arrows. Jeremiah 50, 51 right there. Just one of them. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shield. The Lord has raised up a spirit of kings of the Medes. With devices against Babylon, will destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. There's Jeremiah 50, there's Ezekiel. These are all Bible verses from the north. Destruction cometh from the north. These are my Bible verses. Now I'll talk about this. I talked about this in my live stream. Go over this first. Evening all. Thought uh, you should know something. I don't know how I missed this, but I just found this out today. This was announced on the 24th of July. The Navy and the Marines are planning a global exercise. Let's take a look at the details, shall we? Just in case you think I'm lying, this is the website, navy.mil. This exercise I showed in my live stream, um, it's large-scale exercise. It's been the first one in Navy 40 and years. Navy Corps announced large-scale exercise 2023. Again, 24th of July 2023 is when it was announced. But right down here is the important parts. LSE 2023 brings together the combined firepower of the Navy and Marine Corps team across six maritime component commands. Seven numbered fleets and 22 time zones. The exercise is scheduled to run from August 9th to the 18th. As a former Navy guy, I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the military doesn't do this large a scale an exercise unless they were actually planning something or training for something of course there's always the possibility that this is just a way to deploy troops and equipment in key strategic locations under the guise of an exercise. Still think nothing's going to happen? I'll let you decide. Like I said, I showed this in my live stream. It was the first time in 40 years they've done an exercise like this. And um, I showed his update video. Great question. Before I talk about what my views are, let's 
take a look at some information for context. Might help you understand the sheer scale of this thing. You see, there's only 24 time zones on this earth. Hence, 24 hours in a day. So this is going to basically involve every single time zone on the planet save two. Now, how many numbered fleets does the U.S. Navy have? Seven. The exact number specified in this post that will be involved. Which means pretty much every single vessel and possibly submarine is going to be deployed somewhere. Where? I have no idea. Why? Couldn't tell you. If you're asking for my speculation, there's really only two reasons something like this would happen that I can think of. Reason number one, you want to deploy your personnel and equipment to strategic locations, as I pointed out in the original video, in preparation for something massive. Or, you're spreading your fleet out across the globe so that they can't be targeted and taken out like what happened in Pearl Harbor. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Same thing. As, it's, as he said, this is till the 18th, okay? I am watching the 8th. I am watching 8-8, eight, eight, as I said. There's other people that are watching 8-8 eight, eight also. But I'm not focusing just in on that, which I'm watching every day like we all are. But I will show you something. I showed my Bible verses. I showed my Bible verses. Now I'll go over the uh, information. John sent me this. Thank you, John. Right here. Uh, Russian and Chinese naval ships. Surface action group off, off the Alaskan coastline. So we have the Americans. We know in Daniel, Daniel talks about the king of the north and the king of the south. They still battle after we're left. We leave. They still battle after we leave. But it looks like Russia and China are doing pretty much the same thing. They're getting ready to attack. We know that we know that America goes down, Babylon goes down. So they are getting their ships all out of dodge. And I could show you in Africa right now. Where exactly what it talks about in the Bible, with Nigeria, Ethiopia at his footsteps, China and Russia are uh, investing in Africa, just as America is. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'm not going to really go into that, but so we got these uh, ships off the coast of Alaska. Here it is, right here. Here it is right here, Russian China Large Naval Patrol near Alaska. Right here, this is one hour ago. So this is the, Russia and China and America, all of our ships are going to be out of, 
All of the ships are going to be deployed, as he was talking about. As I said, this was sent from John. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Also, Debbie sent me the first article about the ships. Thank you, Debbie. Greatly appreciated. I'm going to talk about this, because this is... This is the time frame, I, as I said in my video, as I've said in my videos, I'm looking for a hurricane, something, whirlwinds from the south. This is Isaiah. So we have a big hurricane coming, and it's going to be here around the 16th, August 16th, right in the time frame of these ships. This is Isaiah. So, this is what I'm watching. This is what I'm watching. I'm watching this week, yes. Watching the stock market. But we still have a hurricane coming. The, the following week, we're going to have a big hurricane coming. What's projected. I'm still expecting a tropical cyclone to form in that region. So there you go. So I'm watching for a hurricane and it's coming in the next week or so. So I'm not just sticking all my eggs in one basket. We'll see what happens. These are the Bible verses as I said. Jeremiah says right here says Jeremiah 50:41 same time as this drills going on as I showed Al Turner Russian Chinese naval fortilla forms and surfaces surface action group off Alaskan coastline I showed you here this is another thing this is also uh, Syria Tardis this is in the Bible I've showed this many of times this is where the uh, Russian naval base is this is where the Russian naval base is in Tardis this is in the Bible this will also get destroyed as we know right here Russian Navy right here. We also know this gets destroyed. And this is Ezekiel. We know that this gets destroyed. This could happen at the same time when America goes down. I thought it was very interesting. And I don't want nothing bad to happen to nobody, but this is what the Bible says. And she's a very sweet lady. I believe. I don't think Assad's a bad guy either. Just my opinion. They're all... Um, anyway. It's just my opinion. But she's in right now. Assad and his wife are both in TARDIS right now. And this is where the Russian naval port is. Russians. Naval port right here. Well, God bless. This is my video. We'll see what happens as we watch together. We'll see what happens. God bless everybody. Keep praying daily. Uh, pray for your family, friends. Pray for each other. God bless. See what happens.